Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of the topic Discover Data. Here in this video, we shall apply the knowledge we gathered in part 1 and try to solve 10 puzzles, all of them consisting of the tactic Discover Data or Discover Check. The difficulty level will increase gradually as we continue. But before we dive into the puzzles, I would like to tell you a very important and interesting rule and it's very much helpful in many positions in chess. This rule is known as Silman's Rule of Recognition. It is named after the American chess master Jeremy Silman. And the rule goes like, a combination cannot exist without one or more of the followings. First one, a weakened or open king. Second one, a stalemated king, which means that when the king is not under check, but at the same time, it has no other squares to go. So it is like uh, the king has been paralyzed or choked at the position. Third one, an undefended piece. Fourth one, an inadequately guarded piece. So if these four things are there on the board, there is a possibility of winning combination. If you can find any of those on the board, you should take your time and look for a healthy combination. In this video, we'll use this rule in many cases. Now, let's look at the first puzzle. So here's the first puzzle on your board. We can see that white is up by one pawn and it is white to move. Okay, you can just now pause the video here and try to find the best move for white. Okay, so this is the easiest one in this uh, series of puzzles. And we can see that there is the bishop on g4 unguarded and We'll use the Silman's rule and try to find the best combination possible by taking the advantage of the fact that the bishop is unguarded. So the move is knight takes d4. Okay. So after knight captures back, we can just take the unguarded bishop. If bishop takes bishop, then we can just capture the bishop by taking the bishop with our knight. Okay, let us move on to the next puzzle. Oh, this is my favorite one. At this position, we can see that the pawn on g7 is about to get promoted. And we have to take the advantage of this position in order to get a met in one. There is a met in one from white. Okay. So you have to find the best move for white. You can just pause the video right now and think of the best move. I hope you have found it. The move is obviously we are going to promote the pawn but not into a queen. We are going to promote the pawn into a knight. Isn't it interesting? Okay, so there is a discovered attack, a discovered check and a double check as well. Okay, and the king has nowhere to go so it's a checkmate. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Let's move on to the next puzzle. Okay, here in this position, we can see that uh, both white and black are equal in pieces, but it is white to move. I hope you have noticed the possibility of discovery at this position. You have to take advantage of the position and try to think the best move for white. You can just pause the video right now and think about the best move for white. Okay, so the beautiful move is bishop to g8. So now there is an attack on the queen and also there is a possibility of checkmate. So suppose black continues with queen takes rook on the next move, it's a checkmate. So the queen cannot capture the rook. It has to capture the bishop and we can now capture the queen. Okay, let us move on to the next puzzle. Okay, here in this position we can see that black is up by one pawn and it is black to move. But that doesn't matter because there is a winning combination for black. 
you have to find the best move for black in this position. You can just pause the video right now and try to find the best move for black. The move is knight to d4, check, a double check by the queen and the knight. So the king has to move and wherever the king goes, the next move by black is gonna be queen to d2, right? Suppose king goes here, there is a checkmate. So wherever it goes, there are four possible moves for king in this position after this double check and whatever it goes there is a checkmate from black so let us go on to the next puzzle so it is white to move and white is up by one pawn now this pawn is going to be promoted but the problem is that this rook on a1 is actually preventing the pawn to be promoted you have to find such a move so that it's winning for white so you can just pause the video right now and try to find the best move for white. So the move is rook to c8. Okay. Now black has to capture the a7 pawn because he's about to get promoted. So black will capture the pawn and then the master stroke queen to b6 check okay so it's a discovered check black has to move to a square say b4 and then it's completely winning for white let us move on to the next puzzle so here in this position we can see that both black and white are equal in uh, material points because white has a knight for a black bishop and it is white to move so you have to find the best move for white. So you can just pause the video right now and try to find the best move for white. So the appropriate move is knight takes e6. Obviously our queen is hanging but black cannot take it because after queen takes queen, it's a checkmate. Right? So queen cannot be captured. So black has to capture the rook and then we can take the undefended queen. Again, Silman's rook. Let us move on to the next puzzle. This is a very clever one. Okay, so here in this position we can see that black is up by one pawn but it is white to move. Now, notice if the bishop was not here. Okay, suppose the bishop was somewhere else. There is a possibility of checkmate, right? Queen could come to the f7 square, king to h8, and queen takes g7 checkmate. Because there is the rook that is defending the f7 square. But the problem is that the bishop on e7 is creating the obstacle and the point is that with any move of bishop say bishop takes c5 the queen can come to the f5 square and guard our queen to go to the f7 square so we have to find the best move for white so that these things cannot happen and white gains advantage at the end of the day so you can just pause the video right now and try to think of the best move for white Well, the clever move is bishop to d8. Isn't it a beautiful move? It actually separates the two rooks. And now at this position, the queen cannot come to f5 because queen to f5, we can just take the rook. Okay, so we are actually making one piece undefended in order to gain the advantage. Let us move on to the next puzzle. Here in this position, black is up by one rook for a white knight and it is white to move. At this position, there is a combination and 
by combination i mean a combination for white so that it's completely winning it's met in three i guess for white so you have to find the best move for white you can pause the video right now and think Well, the move is bishop to f8 with a check. Now the king has nowhere to go. So the bishop has to block the way of queen. And there is a combination. And by combination, I mean a sacrifice. There is the definition of combination on right of your screen. And a combination consists of a sacrifice. So queen takes bishop, pawn takes queen, and then Rook to h6, checkmate. Remember this pattern, the checkmate with rook and bishop. It's a very common pattern in chess. In future, we'll do a specific video on the pattern of checkmate by rook and bishop. But at this point, we can see that there is a very interesting combination of rook and bishop to checkmate the opponent's king. Let us move on to the next puzzle. Okay. So here in this position, that black is up a piece. The point is white is not enjoying its position. Uh, firstly, its rook is pinned and under attack by the bishop. But the point is that also this knight, black knight, is pinned and there is a bishop pair of white which are very much active. I can give you a hint. At this position, you have to use the bishop pairs properly. Okay, so pause the video right now and think about the best move for white. Well, it seems like there is a winning combination for white and by combination, I mean a combination. The move is rook takes f6. Okay. So after bishop takes the queen. A double check by the bishop and the rook and at the same time the rook is defended. So only move by black is uh, king to h7. Check again. King to h8. Rook h7 check. King to g8. And rook to h8 checkmate. Again the common pattern you notice. The checkmate by bishop and rook. So uh, let's come back to the initial point. So after rook takes, it is evident that black cannot capture the queen. So it has to take the rook with knight. Then we can just take the bishop because the knight is pinned. This knight is pinned. Rook to e8. Queen to f5. And it's gonna be made soon. Okay. Let us move on to the next puzzle. So this is actually a game played in Sweden in 1950 between uh, Jerostroem as white and Borgman as black. Now it is white to move. And here is a brilliant combination from white side. It's, it's not that much simple. It's very much complex. So you may take a little bit of time to think about the right move. But I can say it's brilliant. And you have to find the best move for white at this position. A small hint, you have to create the discovery attack. Okay. So best of luck. This is the last puzzle of the video. So you can just pause the video right now and, and try to think the best move for white. Well, it's not a single move. It's a winning combination. It starts with knight takes g6, check. Okay. The king has nowhere to go. So the pawn has to take the knight. It's a forced move. Pawn takes knight. Queen to g8, check. And also the king has nowhere to go. The knight is uh, protecting the uh, e7 square. Okay. So there is also a forced move. 
see how white creates the discover attack and then knight to e7 check a double check okay the only move king to f8 and then knight takes d6 checkmate the square is protected by knight the king is under attack and the bishop is defending the diagonal so this is all for this video i hope you have liked it if you did then please give it a like share it with your friends and relatives uh, in case you have any question or suggestion you can write it down on the comment section i'll be looking forward to it see you next time